Hi everybody and welcome. Uh, today we thought we'd like to tell you a little bit more about uh, us. Yeah, we would, yes, yes. So what, we, what we've decided to do is to do a little bit of a Q&A. Mm. Now we've got, um, we do often get questions, don't we, yep. from you people out there. Um, but we haven't had that many lately, so we do quite like to answer questions, mm -hmm. don't we? We so, do, yes. Yep. So we've looked up a set of fun questions mm -hmm. on the internet, and we're going to run through those, mm -hmm. and we're both going to answer them. So we've got the list up there, mm -hmm. so I'll be looking up there occasionally mm -hmm. like that. Sorry about that, but I have to read them because I haven't got mm -hmm. them in my head. And we will both answer them, not at the same mm -hmm. time. No, nope. no. So, here we go with the fun Q and A. Here we go. Yes. Okay. So, have you ever taken self-defence classes? No, never, never. I have. Mm. Mm. I did uh, jujitsu. Well, that's why you did. Back. Yes. Yeah. And mm. uh, I did uh, a bit. I did a bit of uh, Krav Maga. Mm. Mm. So uh, that's. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, have you ever urinated in a pool, in a swimming pool? Yes. Mm. Have you? Yes, I'm afraid I oh, have. I couldn't, I couldn't help it. Ooh. It's just no, water. Yes. Uh, to my knowledge, I never have. Um, I've, I've wanted to sometimes, but to my knowledge, I never have. But uh, yeah. anyway, <laughs> have you ever visited a country outside of Europe? Yes, I have, mm, and I have. think my yeah. favourite one is Australia, because <laughs> our son Alex and Lisa and yeah. our two grandsons yeah. live there. So, so we've yes. both we've both been mm. to uh, America mm. and Australia. Yeah. Nowhere else really. Singapore. Outside of Europe. Oh, Singapore. Yeah. We stayed in mm. Singapore mm. Um, for a little while. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So, um, have you ever won? A trophy or an award? Oh, that's hard. Swimming certificate? <laughs> I'm sure I have. I, yes, I'm sure I, I wasn't thinking of that. I was thinking like a like a trophy the boys used to get for football. Um, no, I, I have Or an award. An, an award. award. Um, uh, oh, I, what I, about I, your food safety? Oh, you must have yes, been I suspect I've done that. Food no. safety awards. Wendy's but good at that. There's nothing significant. No. No, no I haven't. No. I've. Uh, what did I. When. I got awarded uh, several times best speaker at my speaking oh, club, yeah. mm. best evaluator at my speaking club, that sort of thing. Mm. Um, and I did once. Uh, <laughs> I got awarded for the most improved student at school, mm. and I was given two books. Well, I was given a book token. Mm. Mm. I bought two books with it. Mm. Yeah, it mm. wasn't hard to be the most improved, <laughs> starting from a very low base. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I was glad to have it. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Don't matter. Yeah. Have you ever have you read any of the Harry Potter, Hunger Games, or Twilight series? And which one is your favourite? Well, I've only read Harry Potter, so that's mm. my favourite. I've read any of those. No. I've watched Harry Potter on the movie. I've mm. watched the Hunger Games, and I've never watched Twilight. Mm. Um. Out of Harry Potter and The Hunger Games, I've got to say mm. that uh, probably The Hunger Games would be my favourite. Mm. Yeah, but I don't read much. I don't read many books. No. no. So, um, that's a weird question. How and where do you prefer to study? Hmm. This seems like a bit of a teenage thing. Um, well, well, we don't really study no, now, no, so... Don't. I do. I, I study information about places and no. I use my internet. But I'd rather prefer to find so, it in books and then I could make notes on the side, so, yeah. Oh, OK. And yeah. I wouldn't 
Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's I'd do that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. now then, how are you different mm. from your dad? Well, you're a woman. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my dear dad. Yeah. Yes. Am I different from him? I think we were quite similar in many ways, but he didn't have that. I don't know if it was because he was in the war, but he never wanted to leave um, the England no. again. That no. was one thing. Never after and the Wendy, war did he And Wendy leave. can't wait to get away. No, and I do like to travel everywhere. like yeah. that, yes. Yeah. yeah, so that was the one of the things I know was different from him. And also, um, he, was, he was very, very... Um, Reserved in his food and drink choices, he didn't like to try different things, and uh, I do. I love to try new food and new drinks. So, mm. Mm. what about you, though? Well, mm. I think I, I think I'm probably quite different from my dad because mm. he, he was he was a very patient man. I'm not really. Mm. Um, he didn't really get angry, and I do quite a lot about <laughs> various things. Um, I'm ginger. He was black haired. Yeah, too. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And I always remember him being very thin and I don't mm -hmm. ever remember myself being very thin. No. 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 So no. quite yeah. different. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But, yeah. So, <laughs> how are you different from your mother? Well, again, I suppose my mum was very <laughs> tiny. Yeah. Um, short uh she had black hair and brown eyes um i think i've got a lot of her good characteristics my dear mum i do miss her so um but again she yeah. um so she was a very religious woman and i'm a, and it was one of her great pleasures in life to mm. go to church and i'm afraid i not not so keen on church now no um but there was, I, do you know, there's so much, she loved dogs, I always had dogs and mm. I did, and she mm. used to love reading and I do. Um, I think, I think she was shyer than I am, yes, she, mm. she found it very difficult to go to new places and to make conversation with new people, whereas I don't, I love doing that, so, mm. yeah. But I, I'm pleased I'm like her in many ways because she was lovely. What about you, Steve, and your mum? I well, love Steve's mum as well. She was my best <laughs> mother-in-law a girl could ever have. Yes. Well, um, yes, I loved her. I'm, I think I'm quite similar to my mum. My mum was always a bit feisty. Um, in my younger years, I always remember her um, being up for a fight. <laughs> she'd... she'd um, you know, readily and regularly attack my brothers um, if they were getting out of hand mm. and uh, really give them a good wallop. Um, never never to me, though. Um, mm. I was the favoured youngest child. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I'm a man. And my mother was a woman. That's how different I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't... I, no. Yeah, I think I'm quite similar to my mum. So... Um, Hmm. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling very happy now. <laughs> it's an afternoon time, all's well with the world. Yeah. Um, we're going out this evening with our friends to the pub, and so I've got no Again. worries. Everyone, mm. fortunately, everyone in our family is fine and okay, and it's my daughter-in-law's birthday today. So happy birthday, Tracy. So it's a lovely day. Mm. Mm. So <laughs> how am I feeling today? <laughs> well, um I'm still recovering from yesterday's trip to the pub, and uh, <laughs> I'm I'm feeling tre trepidatious <laughs> about this evening's uh, outing. Mm. I'm hoping not to drink too much. Mm. Um, but that, yeah, that's one of the reasons we're making this video earlier in mm. the day so that we can go out this <laughs> evening and not have drunken ramblings like yesterday's video. <laughs> If you haven't seen that yet, mm. oh, don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I don't mean that. I don't mean that. <laughs> so, um, no. oh, that's gone. Uh, uh. 
How difficult is it for you to be honest, even when your words may be hurtful or unpopular? That's very, very difficult. I, I, I do like to be honest and I hate to tell lies. Um, I just try and work my way around it because I, I can't bear to upset anyone. Hmm. No. And if it's really, really hurtful, no, I, I, I just could... Oh, I couldn't. No, no, no. That's a hard question for me. Yes. I, I yes. think there's mm. a I think there's a real balance mm. to be struck with honesty mm. because mm. Uh, the truth is only your truth mm. and it may not be everybody else's truth. So being honest mm. is all about perspective, I think. Um, you know, I can be very honest about my feelings about somebody else, but that may not match ev everybody else's perception of that person, mm. you know. Mm. So I don't feel I don't find it difficult to be honest. Um but I I also find it quite easy to choose what to say because you don't always just just because you're being honest doesn't mean to say you have to say it you know if you think somebody's ugly you don't need to say that you, you no, know no. yeah you know if you can't well I, I think if you can live by the motto mm. you know if you can't say something good say nothing mm. um yeah you won't you go know. far wrong will you no, no. No. But, you know, I think a lot of people mm. would have their mouths permanently shut because mm. um, they're so <laughs> full of bile and vitriol. Mm. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Just think before you but, speak is a yeah. good thing. So, don't rush you know, in. Yeah. We don't, we don't uh, mm. yeah, I, I quite like honesty you know, mm. and I'm a big advocate of free speech and being open. My, my other, another one of my daughter-in-laws, Lisa, she always says that Alex opens his mouth before he puts his brain into gear. Yeah. <laughs> and that's true, so, that's true. I guess of a lot of us, yes. Mm. Mm. So, uh, how difficult is it for you to forgive someone who refuses to apologise? Oh, they're the horn. Yes, I would, yes, yeah. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's... That's uh, the sign of good character. Mm. If you forgive, even if people don't apologise, because you know they may not know they've done something wrong. Mm. Just forgive it and forget it. Mm. Move on. Um, how do you replenish your energy? Ooh, more beer. Oh no. <laughs> Tea, I guess it's a tea. Yeah, I don't think more beer replenishes I, I my think energy. That, yeah, I think cup that of is, tea and fresh yeah. air. Yes, get out in the fresh air, have a little walk, have a cup of tea, and those things mm. do. Yes, I found mm. when I when I was working, when I was you know in, in the high pressure IT project management jobs, I would find that going and sitting in the car park in my car and sleeping for five minutes would reignite my thoughts and energy. Um, so a little power nap uh, mm. is what I would do. Yeah, so and I, I still find that works. Mm. Little tiny sleeps every now and again. Um, how how much does music matter to you? Yes, I think music matters an awful lot because depending on what it is, it can make you think. And so songs mostly for me now... I'm, I'm over 60, They, the older ones, they bring back memories mm. of happy times, sad times, so yes. And sometimes I do like classical music because that is very calming and relaxing, so mm. yes, it means a lot, yeah. I wouldn't be without music. Oh, imagine if you went deaf, how awful, mm. yeah. So music... Yeah, poor people that are I deaf, yes. I think music yes. is really important. Mm. Mm. Um, it can make you laugh, it can mm. make you cry. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm always, you'll know when I'm in a happy mood because mm. I'll be singing. Mm. That's just, just mm. what I do. Um, I'll be going, I'll be driving along yeah, we'll in the motorhome and I'll be singing away. Mm. Um, yeah, we do like to uh, sing yeah. when we're driving along. Yes, because yeah, no so. one else, only Pippin hears us. So yeah, we love it. Yes. Well, how far away from your birthplace do you live now? Okay, so... Well, we're, infinitely, I think. Well, infinitely, yes. We were both born just about a couple of miles apart. Hmm. In Coulston, in yeah. Surrey. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Funny and, that, and we still live essentially in the UK, mm. and you know our home address is probably mm. oh, probably twenty miles from where we were born. Our current home address is mm. yeah, mm. it's not it's not that far. No. Yeah, anyway, no. um, but we live everywhere, or well, we try to. Uh, let's do a, one more we've, got, yeah, we've got a couple more yeah um, oh, I it. yes yeah oh here's here's a good one yeah how many days could you last in solitary confinement no. that's a good question that yeah i know it is but i i, I couldn't would the question be how many minutes for you yeah i couldn't last at all no no <laughs> No, I'd go even madder than I am now. No, I'd, especially if the door was shut and I was on my own. My God, no, no, no. Well, here's the thing. No, no. can't do it. I I always think that mm. I could last in solitary confinement for a very long time. However, I recently watched a program uh, on. I think it was either on TV or on YouTube. I think probably a, re a YouTube uh, documentary thing. Mm where they did actually put volunteers in oh, solitary yes, yeah. confinement mm. um, for a week, I think, or mm. something like that. And some of them was okay, were okay, and one person lasted a couple of hours. Mm. It was like, it was the thought mm. of of being in there, not mm. being able to get out, because, you, you know, mm. yes. you're just yeah, locked in. Yeah. So, you know, so I, I have the... I have the, the sort of thought that I would be quite okay because I'm I'm pretty okay with my own company and, you know, missing other people, I suppose, would be a bit of an issue because I do like to ramble on. You'd have um, to talk to yourself all maybe, the time. Well, I do, yeah. Yeah. I do that a lot do anyway. That, yes. Yeah. I, have a, I have a lot of internal <laughs> dialogue with, yes, that's, with yeah. Steve 1 and Steve 2 <laughs> going on. You know, they they talk to each other in there, uh, <laughs> and we work things out um, quite well. And then sometimes that comes out of there. Yeah, but that <laughs> I think I think on solitary confinement uh, <laughs> is where we'll end this yes, little Q and A. Yeah. Um, and just to say that if if this is your first time to our happy travelers channel mm. we hope you've enjoyed this video uh, getting to know us a little bit more mm. and that you will stay tuned by subscribing and following us on our journey as we live full time in our motorhome mm. and travel around the uk and europe mm. and if you want to be a super subscriber and get reminders click the bell next yeah. to the subscribe yeah. button yeah. But thanks so much for watching. Yep. We've enjoyed doing yep, those. We we'll do. Yep. We'll do, do some more, more of those. Ask Maybe, us some, yeah. If you want to give us some questions, everybody, um, we will. Yep. Pop them down in the yep. comment section below. Yep. And maybe go back and answer those questions for yourself. Mm. And I think they're a bit of fun. Mm. Thanks very much for watching, yes. and we'll see you again tomorrow. Yep. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.